Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on today with our free plugin Divi Enhancer. We've been building these modules here. And today we're going to do these little team member blocks right here or modules. If you don't have Divi Enhancer, like I say, it's a free plugin. There's a pro version as well with some extra features. You can just get it by going to your dashboard, to your plugins. And hit the add new button. And simply type in Divi Enhancer. And it'll pop up here as well. There's another one by the same people, Magurus. Uh, Divi Section Enhancer allows you to put YouTube videos behind sections and a bunch of other stuff as well. We'll be reviewing that at a later date. But today we're working with Divi Enhancer. So go ahead and activate it or install it, then activate it if you haven't done so already. Mine's already active, obviously. Divi is an absolutely awesome theme, just keeps getting better and better all the time, more and more features. I've been using it for years and have built an incredible amount of sites with it. And I couldn't be more happier with it. I would suggest if you're making any sort of WordPress build at all, take a look at the Divi theme. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from an affiliate link below this video. All right, let's build this section. So I'm going to enable the visual builder here. Another great feature of Divi lets you build on the front end. Once I've got it enabled, I'm going to roll down. Hit the little blue button for a new section. Regular section. And I'll give it three columns, just like the section above. Now it's prompting us to insert a new module. Divi comes with all kind of modules as standard. But once you've, in, once you've installed Divi Enhancer plugin, you'll get these little red modules here. And the one we're going to use today is Team Member. So let's roll down to our new section. You can see it's put something in there, but we haven't actually got in any content yet. OK, first thing I'm going to put in is the member image. And one thing you want to remember, if you want a round image, completely perfectly round like this or circular like this, then you want to start off with a perfectly square image. If you put a, a, an oblong image in, then it will it'll be oval. I'll just demonstrate that. Let's add an image. I've got three square ones there, but I've got a rectangular or oblong one there. Let's put the oblong one in. And you can see that's oval, sort of pill shaped right there. Really, I want a round one. So let's replace her. With a square one. And I hope you can make that out OK. That's that's a rounded image now, so that's fine. Obviously, you want to put in her name. Uh, what her position is. And a bit of information about her. You can add media, you can add, add all kinds of different stuff here, just like any other text block. I've got a bit of nonsense lorem ipsum text ready here. I'm just going to copy and paste into there. I think that's a bit more than I actually need. Let's take some of that away. That'll do fine right there. Now, the free version just comes with this one style, which is great. It works fine. If you click on that, the pro version, as you can see, it says only pro, has another, another seven extra ones that you can use. When I install the pro version, I will do some videos on those. But like I say, this, this one from the free version is fine. And if we look underneath, we've got three spaces for social media networks. 
So if we click on the network tab, first one says Facebook, and then you just put in your Facebook URL there. You can change it if you don't want Facebook. There's a bunch to choose from here. I don't think Google's much good at the moment. I think that's gone away now. So we'll have Facebook, and for the second one, let's choose a different one, Twitter. For the third one, let's do Instagram. And I don't know if you can see those because it's kind of light colored there, but there's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram icons now underneath. So we're almost there. Obviously you can do all kinds of different things. Let's good, just give it a background color. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to just add a background color. Now let's pull the opacity way down. That's fine. Okay, let's go over to our design tab and change a few of these designs. Let's center up our text, maybe make the subheading a little smaller there and change these icon colors here. So we'll go over to the design tab. Here's the icon settings, the first one. Um, let's make those green. I wonder if they'll stand out enough. White's not. Let's make them blue. Okay, let's move on down. And you can make them bigger or smaller, obviously, 20 picks. I think I'll leave mine at 20. Well, let's say 25. And you can have them centered left or right, I'm sure. Depending on how the rest of your little team member box is going. I'm going to keep mine centered. Main color, I'm going to leave that as is. Text. Now, here we go. Text, I just want to center. I'm not going to change the color center that obviously you can make it bold you can make it capitalized underline line through i think if i make it semi bold it kind of stands out a little bit more let's leave it at that and go down some more don't want any text shadow here's our heading text and it looks like the name is h2 and the title is h3 so the H2, let's make that semi bold also. Oops, I want to change the font. I just want to change the size, semi bold. There we go, that's fine. Let's centralize that and make it blue too. So we'll put it in the center. And I'll make it blue also. And text size is fine. You can make it bigger or smaller. Letter spacing, it'll push the space between that and the next line larger if you pull that one up. Or line height, I should say. Letter spacing, we'll just spread those letters out some if you want to. Okay, let's move on to the H3, which is the job title there. I think I'll leave that color as it is, and all I want to do with that is centralize it. Yeah, well, let's make it let's make it semi bold as well. I think bold would probably be too much. That's, yeah, it's too much. That's great. So we're pretty much there. The only other thing I might want to do with that is add a little box shadow, like I've done above there. And push this image down slightly so we've got a bit of a gap at the top there. Again, it's it's all subjective. It's up to uh, whatever works for you. So let's go to spacing. And I want to give it a bit of padding at the top. Say 30 picks. Just need to write 30. It'll put in the pixel amount for you. Great. That's just what we want there. Okay, and... Last but by no means least, I'm just going to add a little bit of box shadow there to make it stand out a bit more. That's great. I'm not even going to adjust anything. You can adjust your position, the vertical position, horizontal position, blur strength, strength, and actual color of it if you want to. Okay. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone it over, hit the two little boxes here. 
actually we need the black module the dark module that was cloning the row i want to clone this just single module there that's that done drag it over it doesn't matter which one you put over there the other one will fill the gap and do the same thing again clone and drag and obviously you want to go in and change your details really quickly simple once you've got the first one done leave everything else the same just change that background color I'll make this one blue and I don't have to change the opacity it automatically brings it over there which is great and quickly do this last one remember I said I'm using square images that will make it a round image Move this over so we can see. And this, I'll simply change the background color. There we go. There's three nice little team sections done in what a few minutes. One little thing here sometimes, if you've got more information for one person than the other, perhaps, let's just copy a bit more of this text over and make this longer. Say that you'll see that this box is now longer than these two. Let's open it up, go to our advanced custom CSS, the main element, and give it a minimum height. Minimum height. Let's say 600 pixels, maybe a bit much. Yeah, that's too much. Let's say 550. Five hundred is too short. You'll see it grow slightly. There we go. 550. Let's make it 540. That's fine. Like that. Put a little semicolon after it. Copy that. Control C. Save it. Then we want to just add it to these other two. We could do extend styles, but that would change the color as well. So it's simple to just go in, paste this in. I'll just move this so you can see. Now that one's the same height. It can get bigger, but it won't get smaller. And same thing for this one right here. Into the module, custom CSS, just paste that into the main element again. There you go. So you've got different amounts of text there, but the actual columns are the same height. So there you have it. Another great little feature with the Divi Enhancer plugin. As I say, it's free. So try it out. You've got nothing to lose. I'll put a link to it below this video also. So let's just save our changes. and exit the visual builder. There you go, three little team member boxes. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great web development courses. We've got some free ones down there and we've also got some premium ones with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.